Good morning, 9 a.m. I am up, my workout routine is done, my morning routine is done, and now it's time for breakfast. I've even got the bacon already in the toaster oven, ready to go, and I'm about to make some tea. Today I got a care package from my family and I am so excited about the contents of it. I needed my powder, I got it. I got three eyebrow pencils. <laughs> Listen, are they, yes, and they're the right color. I stumbled upon these Wet n Wilds because I used to use Anastasia Beverly Hills. I ran out of one and I went to the drugstore just to get a quick one and fell in love with these. They last way longer than ABH and they don't smear off my face. Love, love, love these. Obey because it's necessary. Trader Joe's has made it to Europe. Everything but the elote, chili lime seasoning. The, I love this one, umami. It's um, like mushroom flavored. 21 seasoning salute. And unfortunately, RIP to the sofrito seasoning because it made it, but it was broken. And there's glass all in it, so. I don't want my teeth to fall out, just trying to have <laughs> some good flavor. But yay to these and da 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 da. Last but not least. <laughs> okay, hear me out. I deep condition my hair mm, once a week. So I need these little plastic caps. One thing also that I cannot find here. Well, maybe that I haven't found yet because I've suddenly been finding everything that I've been wanting. But I'm so happy, look at my care package, yay! See my thumb? So happy. So happy. Good evening, ladies. Tonight's dinner includes roasted potatoes and carrots and green beans. And also I've got my fish here ready to go after my vegetables are done roasting. So I will saute the green beans but these are the carrots and the potatoes that I'm about to put in the oven. This has a homemade pumpkin spice mix on it. Well, the, all the spices that you would put on the pumpkin. So the ginger, the cinnamon, the clove, ground clove, it has all that in it. And then the potatoes, they're separated because the potatoes are basil, parsley, and garlic, a little red pepper, salt, and pepper. So these are going into the oven to roast on high for about 30 minutes. And after that's done, I'll saute the green beans and finally I'll saute the fish. Good morning, ladies. I'm here to bring you some hope, inspiration today. This morning started off rocky, but I flipped it completely around because I was not tolerating having a bad day. Let me tell you exactly what happened. I wanted to wake up at 6 a.m. My alarm clock went off, I got back in the bed, and I woke up at 6.57 a.m. And I think subconsciously I was already upset with myself that I slept in and then had a nightmare. So I woke up sweating in the middle of a nightmare and then I started to blame myself. Well, that's because you didn't get up on time. That's two things that went wrong this morning. And then I did an intense leg workout yesterday. So today was going to be abs and don't let these workout clothes fool you, nothing happened. <laughs> I got six minutes in and it was abort mission. My body was way too tired and that's okay too. So I was thinking, what else is gonna go wrong today? Not the right thought. I was making some chickpeas because I'm going to make hummus this morning. I had my AirPods in, they done boiled over all over the stove. I said they done, mm. they boiled over <laughs> on the stove. I smelled them and I'm thinking, Shouldn't be smelling my chickpeas this early. I just put them on. So I had to stop the workout two minutes in to go clean up the chickpea mess. And at that point, I was like, okay. I went to the bathroom mirror and I talked to myself. And I said, look, <laughs> I just started going over everything wrong that happened. Number one, 
6 a.m whatever 6 57 is great i usually get up at 7 so 6 57 like at least i'm hitting the 7 a.m goal forget about it number two the nightmare you had a nightmare it's over it's not real it was so unrealistic it's never going to come true two two things smashed the chickpeas okay you weren't paying attention it boiled over i cleaned it up who cares move on the workout I had a great leg workout yesterday. My body was tired, so we can't work out. Today is not going to be a bad day. Today is going to be a great day. So I was, I want to give you that inspiration to tell you, you can do the same thing. You wake up, you stub your toe, and then it's just a trickle of events. You have to stop. <laughs> stop right there and turn the day around or else it will keep going down the same terrible spiral since i went to the mirror of course just to test your patient one or two little other annoyances happen and i remember slamming my phone down at one point and saying ooh, ooh you're losing after that it was over the, the rest of the day has been great things will go wrong in a day turn it around look at all the possibilities the things that you think are so horrible what do they really mean nothing nothing in the grand scheme of things there's so many things to be thankful about so that's my hope inspiration for the morning maybe i will work out later even though i'm really a morning work outer <laughs> worker outer <laughs> i like to do my workouts in the morning so if i haven't done it by now i can push it to tomorrow there's nothing wrong with that, but I definitely need to use my massage gun on my entire leg. My legs hurt from the glute to the hamstring all the way down to the calf. <laughs> Your girl needs a spa day. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching my vlog. I decided to still add the time lapse of my aborted workout here just so you can see what I was going through. There go the chickpeas boiling over. I got the mat wet and you'll see. I just stopped. And sometimes that's exactly what you have to do. Just stop. It's a busy day today. I really think I have nothing to cook or any time. So I ordered a takeout poke bowl. This should be delicious. Let's see, let's get a closer look. Wow. That's going to be good. Poke bowl. I have a to-do list as long as Rapunzel's hair. So I made a latte to match. To give you perspective, look at the size of my glass of water. Now look at the size of my latte. And I actually just finished one. <laughs> so this is number two. Because it's four o'clock, this is the time that I usually take a nap. I cannot nap today. So no nap equals latte. This week's fruit basket is extra special. I see some strawberries and eggplant. I'm very excited for it. So I'm waiting on my taxi. And then when I get home, I'll show you all my goodies. Yummy. Hello, ladies. Let's take an assessment of the bounty that I received today in my fruit box. We have apple, pears, kiwi, a nice leek, a head of lettuce, potatoes, some tomatoes, and these are huge. Look how big this tomato is. The size bigger than my hand. This is another tomato as well. It's very beautiful. I love that color. Onion, pomegranate, all these oranges, typical of Andalusia, Spain. Excited for those. I got strawberries this time. These will probably be eaten tonight. <laughs> I have some radishes. Oh, I see a nice salad coming on. Zucchini, um, zucchini eggplant, garlic. Hmm. I'm not sure what you call this. If someone can help me down in the comments, but I eat it in my salads and I also eat it in a soup if I make soup. I've got some peppers here. I asked the guy if these are jalapenos, they're not. He just said picante, so that means they're hot. <laughs> and then some carrots. Last time I got the box, it took me about two weeks to eat all the food. But that carton was huge. The one today came in this. 
which is moderate size. The other one was double this size. So maybe this should last just about a week. And then, of course, I'll show you what's in next week's box. Today for lunch, I'm going to make a salad with tomato, whatever this vegetable is again that I don't remember. <laughs> Celery, radish, carrots. Something's missing. Oh, the leek. And I have a hot pepper. I have a question. Do you all pre-cut your vegetables? I think I'm going to. Well, maybe not all of my radishes because the last time I pre-cut all of these, they went bad, unfortunately. But maybe I'll, carrots are pretty strong. This thing is strong. And um, maybe I'll pre-cut my tomato and my leek because I have this head of lettuce and half a bag of spinach to eat. That's probably three salads within the course of the next few days. I think it may be easier than trying to chop every time. Yes, I think I'll pre-cut. I just made the dressing and for the dressing, I like to use a wine vinegar, olive oil, Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute, yay, yay. I also use basil, which clearly I love. It's almost gone. And the star of the show is some Dijon mustard. Delicious. So I've mixed all my veggies together and I'll put this on it and that's my salad. I am out with a friend and we are going to have some fantastic fried fish complimented by some white wine and this place is lively we're going to enjoy this food see you soon so we asked for the bill it was taking a bit long to come and that's because we got this cute little dessert that tastes like lime sherbet and a little cookie that says moments how precious love this place I've got some goodies in my bag to show you. Moving anywhere, but especially overseas, can be hard. You don't know where to go. I wanted some cheddar cheese today. Okay, I'm thinking, where can I go that has cheddar cheese? Something led me to the big department store because there's a grocery in the bottom. What did I find? I have to show you my eyes. I found Faye yogurt, my favorite protein snack. All I've been saying since I got here, oh, I wish they had Faye. I found it. And there were two left, I got both of them. I don't care how much it costs, I want my Faye yogurt. Because this Greek yogurt, that's the store brands. <laughs> Yo, I found my yogurt and cheddar cheese and cheddar cheese spread. It's a fiesta when I get home. I can barely contain my excitement. Welcome home. I miss you. I've missed you so much. Welcome. And they're my favorite. 5% so thick, so creamy, so protein filled. And I got my cheddar cheese. Um, It tastes a little. I was looking for that sharp cheddar. But it's okay because it doesn't say sharp cheddar. And I also got this. <laughs> because anything from France. Oh, okay. I know it's amazing. I've already tasted it. It's good. Fran France, I almost said France again. <laughs> France really excels in the food department, seriously. Now, hello, my love. Let's talk about this. Natural Greek style yogurt, which I didn't read at first. Well, it, it says Greek yogurt, right? Mm. But then when you read the ingredients, it's wrong. It's wrong. Natural yogurt in the style of Greek. Wrong! <laughs> I just gotta talk about this really quickly because look at how many proteins are in here. 3.9 grams of protein. What happened to the protein? The fat is fine. The carbs are even a little like that's that 0.9 extra grams don't need to be in there. And what happened to the protein? Well, let's look at the ingredients. Okay, pasteurized milk. Why do you need skim milk proteins and fermented, get out of here, okay? Because 
Let's look at my love. This is much better. Five grams of fat, which I mean the 10 grams of fat in there, I don't mind because you need that good fat. Carbs, three grams, protein, nine grams. I'm kissing it. Protein, nine grams. Thank you so much. That's exactly what needs to be in a Greek yogurt. It's a protein and fat source, not a source of carbs. So this is a major error when your carbs and proteins equal. No thanks. This is beautiful. And let's look at your ingredients. Milk, fermented lactose, and nata. I forgot what that means, but all that should be in there. Hello, honey. Welcome. Oh, and look at the nutrient score. A. <laughs> Even the Spanish know that Faye should be up in the house. Okay, I've ranted. So I just wanted you to know that I got my loves and I'm just, get out the picture. <laughs> ah, welcome to my fridge. And I got, I checked the dates as well because I got two of these big ones. So I have until March the 14th. Yes. And I'm back because even this deliciousness is good for my macros. Look at this. So it's fat filled, but it's dairy. That's what it's supposed to be. Only one and a half grams of carbs. Fantastic. 13 grams of protein. Thank you, President.